First, we need to degrease the slide with ethyl alcohol and light the spirit lamp. Then I will show you the Burihin staining technique for detecting capsules in bacteria. Most bacteria have some kind of capsule. This viscous surface layer is also known as the slime layer, the glycocalyx or the extracellular polymeric substance. Most bacterial capsules are composed of polysaccharide, however, some some genera produce polypeptide capsules. The polymers which make up the capsule tend to be uncharred and as such they aren't easily stained. For this reason we use a negative stain to visualize them. That is, we use a stain which stains the background against which the uncolored capsule can be seen. Apply a drop of suspensions of capsule bacteria and Indian ink diluted one to one with water together at the end of a slide. The background is confirmed not only India ink, but nigrosin or Congo red. In this video I am using a disposable inoculation loop. After procedure, it is placed in a disinfectant solution. Some technicians also use a loop to mix the these components. Use another slide with a sanded edge to spread the smear. Used glass must be placed in a disinfectant solution. I will place it on the work tray holders, because my demo is non-infectious. We can also apply Indian ink first. Then, using a sterile microbiological pipette to suck up some broad culture of microorganisms into a pipette and apply it on Indian ink. This video uses a different, more convenient Buri smear technique like a blood smear. Allow the smear to air dry. In a practical lesson to save time, you can dry the over the fire of an alcohol burner lamp. After that, the smear is fixed in a chemical way, with a Nikiforov mixture or other mixtures, especially if the culture has a protein capsule. In this video, I will fix the smear thermally, which is used less often for those bacteria whose capsule consists of polysaccharides. Saccharides. Flood the smear with fusion paper. By the way, you can also use a crystal violet. We are waiting for 3 minutes. Drain the fusion paper by tilting the slide and let stain run off. Then wash with water, then blood, dry a glass slide. Examine the smear microscopically using an immersion lens for the presence of encapsulated cells as indicated by clear zones surrounding the cells. This photo shows Klebsiella pneumonia by Buritin stain.